In March 1965, the first manned Gemini spacecraft blasted off. It was a new space program designed to develop the techniques needed for a flight to the moon. Gemini's Titan II launch vehicle was a modified missile powered by hypergolic fuels that did not leave the vapour trails of the liquid oxygen rockets. Other things were different too. There were now two astronauts in the capsule and they would travel to higher orbits and remain in orbit for as long as two weeks. The Gemini craft had a separate module, the white portion for propulsion, life support systems and power which came from not batteries but from fuel cells. It was a laboratory for the testing of new concepts. An aircraft flying a special flight path provided brief periods of weightlessness so that Gemini astronauts could practice specific procedures in realistic conditions. For the first time, NASA astronauts would venture outside the capsule and training was vital. Here, Michael Collins is preparing for his spacewalk on Gemini 10. Functioning outside the craft was important should something go wrong with a docking procedure during lunar flights. An orbit rendezvous with another craft was an important manoeuvre that needed to be rehearsed and perfected. The accuracy of landings was another technique that was improved during the 12 Gemini flights. Project Gemini was a giant step along the path that led to the moon.